Hi, I'm Steve Shaver from Max, the Mobile Air Conditioning Society, and I'm here today with a new tech tip for all you technicians who work on mobile AC and vehicle climate controls. And it all starts with one of these, a kitchen thermometer. Now you might be wondering, how can a kitchen thermometer help me out in the shop? Well, one of the best ways to know if something isn't working correctly is to know how it should be working when all is well. Get yourself one of these inexpensive little thermometers and put it in the left center dash outlet of your own car or truck. Now all you have to do is leave it there and check it every once in a while just like you would do with all the other gauges on your dashboard display. The difference here is that you can learn a lot about how the HVAC system in your vehicle operates with just a glance every now and then. It goes without saying that you should only check the temperature when your vehicle is stopped. In other words, don't do this while driving. You can find thermometers like these in many local stores and on several websites for around $10 or $12. I like to keep one in every vehicle I own and I also recommend the same to my customers. That way, if there's ever an issue, I can simply ask them, what is the temperature of the air blowing out of your vents? I could take that information along with engine and ambient conditions and usually get pointed in the right direction fairly quickly and fairly accurately. Tech tips like these are great, but as I like to say, nothing beats live, especially when it comes to technical training. Max holds several classes around the world each year, along with our annual training event and trade show, next being held in Orlando, Florida in February 2015. If you like getting tech tips, training, and other technical information about mobile AC and vehicle climate controls, then why not join Max and become a member today? You can check us out on our website at maxw.org where you can read about this and other full stories on our WordPress blog. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.